I need a place to put this pie. Hey guys, Matt here, Home Science Ideas, and today I wanted to take you guys along with me to show you this new um, Raspberry Pi sleeve that I'm actually printing. If you guys want the um, STL file of it so you can print your own, then go ahead and look in the description below. Um, so I wanted to take you guys kind of through the whole process of how I basically get it to where I need it. The one that I printed off already, and I'll show you through this video what I did and what I changed. But uh, the one that I printed originally, it didn't fit mine because of one reason. The heat sink, um, the jelly that's in between it, or not the jelly, but the stuff that's in between it to keep it stuck to the uh, chip, it basically was a little too thick. And so I had to modify this, um, this uh, STL file in order to get it to where I need it to be. I also added a couple features to it that I think you guys might like. So... Um, I am just getting started on this channel, so if you guys have any suggestions on this video on how to improve things around here, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys, so if you have any questions of any kind, feel free to comment below um, on anything that I'm doing here, okay? So let's get started. So I'm printing off a sleeve I found in Thingiverse for this pie. I like that it has uh, vent holes. A lot better the only thing that I think I don't like about this is that neither on this side nor on the other side uh, are legs it would be cool to basically put some legs on it and then set it down flat like kind of like that but have some air in between it it would also be cool to add some uh, fan uh, screw holes so might modify it a little bit my surface is not very good on this but I'm working on that right now. Uh, I did make some changes, so the next print I'm hoping we'll deal with it, but yeah, it looks okay. Any of you guys have uh, a Raspberry Pi? And if you do, have you printed your own sleeve just yet? So this is why we have printers, right? Because we can do things that nobody else can do because we are the people of the 3D printing. <laughs> Not too shabby. Came off nice and easy. I mean, decent part. I need to definitely tune my, uh, I think it's my slicer settings because I have it just basically on uh, a basic profile, but it looks kind of crappy actually. But anyways, is it functional? That's, that's kind of what we're going for, right? So, take this off and put it on or and put put this in it now this is on my iPhone here but yeah you don't just want to unplug it uh, you want to go to oh I'm sorry this is on an octo print or um, you know it's basically I'm using octo print for this so um, you want to go to let's see shut down system proceed and you can turn it off the power. Turn off the power. See if I can do this one handed. See if it even fits. I should probably show you guys too, huh? I probably have to do some adjusting of it considering my my uh, thing isn't dialed in as best as I'd want it or as good as I'd want it. Hmm, what's it catching on here? Come on, baby. We look at my board here. The reason why it's not going in is right there. The heat sink. So, I don't think that the designer took a heat sink into account. So, what I'm going to probably do is take this into Tinkercad. And I'm going to make it just a little taller. And I'm going to shift that nub there. A little bit over, but it, it caused problems over there, though. So probably just a little taller should be good. So I'll figure it out. Upon little closer inspection, I'm not saying this is going to work, but I think the culprit is actually this orange goo. I had a case on it. The case came busted. So let's take that orange goo off and see if it fits. The orange stuff is gone. And still, no luck. 
So, let's go ahead and let's redesign this in uh, Tinkercad. I don't think I gotta do much. I'm gonna probably have to follow that line all the way back, so I'll probably make a box uh, in Tinkercad that's about that size, and then run it all the way back so that I'm cutting it basically um, here as well. And then possibly back here. God bless you, Tinkercad. I did make some changes. I even made changes to my slicer settings, and as you can see, things aren't going very good with my slicer. For those of you that don't know, a slicer is basically something that cuts up the part into slices, which makes it to be able to print. Um, so we'll go into that on future videos, but I made the modifications. I even added a little feature that I'll show you in the end what this is done printing, but I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the changes were successful. We'll see if it fits though, right? No. It wasn't a total waste. Let's see if it fits my board, my um, Raspberry Pi. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this with one hand, okay? Let's try it. And try to get it on video here. Cause this will actually tell me if I need to adjust it. Okay, so that's obviously fitting under it now. So it's, oh, nope, it, I thought it was getting caught on something else. There we go. So as we can see, good enough, right? Everything fits good. There's not too much play in it. Uh, need to probably have a new face put on it. I was so close to getting this damn thing done. Uh, good clearance on everything. So it wasn't a total loss. I mean, I'm, I'm able to check everything. Card sticks out. That's the other thing that I like about this one is the card sticks out a little bit. So if you want to remove it and you want to change stuff on there, you can. So, so yeah, the little uh, hack went good or the little change modification that I made to it fit it in there with that heat sink. Another modification I added to it because I read somewhere that people were like, oh, it'd be cool if you can see the lights. The lights are right around there in this, in this hole. And so I'm hoping that um, as we plug this in, we'll be able to see the lights flickering and stuff like that. So, and, uh, but yeah, so I have to print another one. Cray cray. So since that other part failed, what I ended up having to do, and I'm not saying this is working yet, I'm just thinking it might, is on the CR-10S Pro, which is what I have here, uh, a lot of people actually don't know how to adjust or tighten the belt. Um, if you take off this plate that's in the back here, you'll have access to this. And as you can see, there's a little bit, the holes are not completely round. They're kind of shifted holes. And so what you can do is you can grab this and you need to pull that back and you need to tighten it up. Um, if you're getting layer shifting on the Y axis or the Z axis, the Z is over here more. I'll show you that in a second, but you want to hear something like this. See how it twangs like a guitar? That's what you want. Now, what we want to do is we want to get the two, <coughs> the two wrenches, Allen keys, that come with your Creality. And you want to basically loosen up this bolt, this bolt here, okay? Then you want to take your um, Allen key, the bigger one, and you want to kind of push it in there, as down as hard as you can get it, and then you want to kind of pull as hard as you can Without, I mean, not as hard as you can. I mean, you might be really strong and bust this thing, okay? But you want to pull pretty good. And then um, from there, you want to tighten up while you're holding that other bolt. You want to use the hand that I'm holding the camera with. And you want to tighten up just one, okay? Then you can adjust this. But you want to make this as, not super tight yet, but pretty tight. And then adjust this to where you want it. Um, I have mine sticking up because I found that it, it actually gives me a better print. But... I might adjust it back, I'm just not sure yet. Um, so I have it that way for now. Um, so once you find where you want it here, then you just tighten it up there and then just make sure both of these are tight after that. And you should be good on your belt. And on this one as well, you want a twang. Okay, like a little guitar. You should hear it too, doing. Okay, so hopefully that fixes the issue. Let's print another copy. Also in my Kira settings, I set this to um, uh, 
I basically turned off acceleration and I turned off jerk settings uh, to try and see if that would help because I noticed it still goes a little fast when it's when it's moving around. Uh, now it it doesn't move as fast, um, but I'm not going for fast. I just want the the part to print. So um, so hopefully that helps. So we'll see how this comes out. Not my best print, but looks good nonetheless. Pulled away from the bed really easy. I did attempt to put little tiny legs on there, but as you can see, they're just too dang tiny. Um, well, they might not be. I'll try it out. Um, I did want to show you guys the difference between the two. Okay, this is the last one that I did. And as you can see, the new one is thinner here. Okay, those legs right there are thinner. And that gives me an area to get my heat sink all the way back. And as you can see in the back there, too, there's a little screen, okay? And that is to make the lights shine through. So you can tell if your pie is working or not. Let's get it on. Not really happy with the stringing and stuff on this, either. So there's a lot of stringing. It's, I mean, it's small strings, but stringing nonetheless. I definitely need to dial in my slicer or something because I, I'm getting getting pretty bad stuff going on here, in my opinion. The Pro usually prints really good. So, anyway. Alright. Hopefully it fits, huh? All this trouble and it doesn't fit, that would suck. Take the faceplate off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that on there because that was a pain in the butt to get it on there. So, let's go ahead and... So far, so good. Yeah. Bam. See? This snaps on there a little bit better. And the legs... Yeah, they definitely need to be a little bigger. So what I'll do is I'll um, I'll edit the STL file on this, and then I'll upload my version to my Thingiverse, um, and that is in the description below, you guys. Um, but pretty dang cool. So I'll also um, link the original, obviously, because the dude deserves credit for it, so... I'm going to turn it on in a second so we can see the lights too. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's all together, and there you go. Bam, the lights are shining through. So you can tell if it's on. I could probably just redo the screen and just have a hole right there around the lights, but pretty good. So anyways, that's it for this uh, project, you guys. If you want to see more, obviously kick, click the like like button or kick it, or whatever you want to do, and um, I'll have more coming to you guys, um, mods and stuff for different printers, um, I am getting a Ender 5 pretty soon, and I also have another printer to show you, it's a GJ, excuse me, a JG Magic, or JG Maker, so, um, you know, subscribe so that you can get all the video updates on those things, so, um, like I said, all the links and everything for everything will be below. I'll even put a link for the uh, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Um, I'm going to be doing videos on that as well um, because I set up my camera through it and um, I know how to adjust it and everything behind the scenes in uh, Linux, basically. So, anyways, um, God bless you guys and like always, peace.